My name is Andrea. I'm a marine mammal trainer at Shedd Aquarium in Chicago. The Alaska Sea Life Center in Seward reached out to Shedd Aquarium. They had a rescued sea otter pup that needed help being raised. He was found on the beach in Cordova, Alaska. When we couldn't find any evidence of a mom in the area, we did bring the sea otter pup in. So whenever a sea otter pup is rescued below a certain age, they're automatically deemed non-releasable, and that's because the skills that these animals need to survive in the wild, to thrive, are all taught from their mother. Not only are they being cared for by mom, but they're learning a number of life skills to include grooming, um, keeping up with the coat, how best to do that. And grooming is more than just brushing their hair. They do a lot of blowing air inside the coat and also rubbing the hairs so that they interlock to trap the air next to their body because that is what they rely on to stay warm. We do have to groom him. We're seeing him kind of kick in and start to groom himself, but he's not doing a very thorough job on his own just yet. So we're making sure that all those hairs are nice and spread out. He's drying out keeping that coat in good condition. So when he was admitted on March 18th, he weighed just about five pounds. Currently, he weighs around 13 pounds. Sea otters have to eat about a quarter of their body weight every single day. A pup has to eat even more than that because they're growing. He gets a bottle every four hours, so that's pretty normal. They usually nurse every couple of hours. He's also getting new solid food, so we're introducing him to new diet, getting him more nutrition that he needs. He requires round-the-clock care. We're here 24 hours a day, and that'll be for a few more months. These guys are very curious animals. He's exploring everything and that's great. That's what we want him to do, but we have to make sure he's doing it in a safe manner. He now has free access to the water and to the land so he can make the choice of when he's in the water or dry on deck, which is really important. He's lost a lot of his pup coat, which keeps them buoyant when they're young. This now allows him to practice his diving skills. Upon getting free access to that pool, it took him about three days to retrieve a toy off the bottom. That's really great. So now we're waiting for him to kind of work on holding his breath for longer durations and spend more time in the water. One thing that I think is really neat about having staff from Shedd Aquarium here is just having the engagement of facilities in the lower 48. Right now with this pup requiring 24-hour care, it's an obvious help in terms of personnel support. It gives me the opportunity to interact with colleagues from other institutions. It's a great exchange of knowledge. The Alaska Sea Life Center staff has been so welcoming, they're awesome. To be able to help an animal that wouldn't be able to survive without us is an awesome opportunity and something that I'm so glad I was able to step in and do.